What would happen if you overloaded a gimbal with a camera that's heavier than its payload rating? What's going on guys? My name is Dan Davis and I'm the creative director here on dancetube.tv and we have done just that today. We have overloaded the DJI RS4 with a camera system that weighs 600 grams more than its payload rating. I don't know enough about gimbals to do this review justice, so I've decided to get Eamon, my good friend from Creative Philosophy. He runs a real estate media business. He tested out the RS4. He's been using it on a bunch of his different shoots, and let's see his thoughts. Let's just see what he could capture from the gimbal and his perspective on how the RS4 handles a day-to-day -day when you're actually using it for your job. If you are interested in the DJI RS4, then definitely check my links in the description below. You can contact sales at d1store.com.au, mention Dan's Tube, and you'll get the best saving possible over there. That's for all my Australian viewers. You can also use the code Dan's Tube on their website to save on select items. And I will have some other links below to check out the gimbal in a few other places for my international viewers. Hey creators, we're back in the studio and I've just finished some shoots with the RS4, not the RS4 Pro. Uh, and if you have seen on the footage so far, I'm using the Blackmagic 6K Pro. And yeah, so in my day to day, I run a real estate media company. So I've done thousands of shoots on gimbals, uh, which is why Dan uh, gave me this guy to test out. Yeah, I'm gonna give you some of my positives and some of my negatives of it right now. Let's get into it. So yeah, I decided to test it on uh, on just some townhomes to start with, some not, not too crazy shoots, just in case it didn't hold up because I'm using it on the black magic obviously and i believe we uh we looked it up and the payload is is three kilos but for the black magic um uh, it's like 3.6 kilos so it doesn't balance properly it's definitely a little bit wonky but yeah i'm very surprised at how it holds up it's actually much stronger than my rs2 and this is just the rs4 not the rs4 pro uh now i'm just saying that based on my experience of two shoots so far i couldn't get this guy to uh to connect to the camera i'm sure you can do that uh, but yeah, I wasn't able to do that just now. Very, very surprised at just how smooth the shots I could get from this guy. I didn't set it up with all of my settings, so it's it's hard to compare directly. Uh, but from just kind of using the base settings, changing a couple of them to what kind of feels good. Honestly, it's crazy to me how well this held up for the Black Magic. So, you know, if I was using the A7S III and any weight that I have on the A7S III, I would confidently replace my RS2 uh, with the RS4. But based on my experience today with the RS4, just because I probably wouldn't commit to something that, you know, doesn't actually say it can hold a payload of, of the payload that I'm using, which is the Black Magic, right? That I'm, I'm most likely going to upgrade to the RS4 Pro now. Yeah, excuse me, just being on the floor in the studio, just sorting out all my memory cards and stuff from a shoot. So I've got one more shoot tonight that I'm going to do a twilight shoot uh, with the gimbal. Yeah, if I have anything else to add, I'll definitely let you know. But yeah, I love all of the upgrades, all the little things, the buttons on the outside. It feels more, more sturdy, like it's better build quality. Um, obviously the automatic locking, all sorts of stuff. Now, obviously I've missed out on the RS3. I didn't upgrade to that one. So, you know, this is a, a bit of a jump from the RS2 to the RS4. But again, just based on my experience of using gimbals every single day, I'm very surprised at how well this gimbal held up. All right, just finished up the twilight shoot and here's my final thoughts on the gimbal especially if you're using it for a more heavy camera, is that if you're not a very experienced gimbal user, I might stay away from it because uh, it might be more difficult to get really smooth shots, especially looking at some of the clips on my computer from the last two shoots that I did. Pretty much all the clips I'm going to have to stabilize just because it's Blackmagic footage and I usually do stabilize it anyway, uh, but it definitely needs a little bit more stabilization just because the gimbal can't hold as much weight. It was definitely a little bit harder on this shoot in particular because I was running around a little bit more. It was a more intense shoot. I have to wait for the light, uh, so I have to get my shots at a particular time. So that definitely made it harder to get smooth shots because I didn't have as much time to play with. Overall, I'm really impressed with the gimbal, especially considering I you know, overloaded it with the Blackmagic. Uh, and I'm definitely going to go out and get myself an RS4 Pro based on my experience with just the RS4. Um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed my cheeky little real estate review. 
and um, I'll see you in the next video. So interesting stuff to see the RS4 with an overloaded weight on it. It had the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K and that thing weighs over three kilograms, so 3.6 kilograms with the setup that Eamon had. The payload rating on this is three kilograms. So when we set it up, it was a little off balance before we powered it on. Amazingly enough though, he was able to do a bunch of different property shoots and he had no issues with it. The motors on this thing must be really powerful to be able to counteract something like that that weighs more than what its payload rating is. Obviously it's not advised to do that. You would want to get yourself the RS4 Pro if you had a larger camera system, but impressive stuff nonetheless. What the RS4 has been able to do here is quite mind blowing. What makes the RS4 special? What makes it an upgrade from previous systems? So it does have the next generation of native vertical shooting, which Eamon didn't test out. He was just using it for his property shoots, but it makes it nice and easy now with the way that it's set up with the quick release plates, the fact that it's got updated software or I guess updated algorithms to be able to back that native vertical video. So obviously vertical video is huge now, something that everyone wants. All of the social platforms have the vertical videos. So this is huge, right? So they've upgraded it and made it a lot more advanced and a lot more in touch with, I guess what a content creator would need which is that quick release from horizontal as such, from landscape into that vertical video. And it looks like it's something that can be done very quickly. This is now the fourth generation of RS stabilization. So again, advanced as the motors improve, as the algorithm improves, as all of that like R&D, the research and development side of stuff improves, you're just getting a better gimbal overall here. And so from what we can see, the footage was really smooth, really stable. And again, we overloaded the system and it was that stable. So imagine if you had yourself a mirrorless camera or a DSLR and it was well under that three kilogram payload, you are going to be loving this system. Such an awesome setup and gimbals are very useful for a lot of people, right? It's one of those things that like, if you wanna take your video production to the next level, having yourself a high grade gimbal is definitely gonna make you look more professional but it's also going to just stabilize your footage significantly more than what you can do if you're just doing the handheld shot. One of the coolest features is the fact that the gimbal will actually lock into place once you've turned it off. So previously in my experience, you'd turn off the gimbal, but then you'd have to manually lock each point. So then you could basically transport it with the camera on top. But now when you power it down, it will actually like, like a transformer also like boop, 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 and then it will just lock into place and it's ready to transport, get to the next location, power it on doop, 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 and it's ready to go again. Pretty amazing. There's the option for wireless controls with this system as well as a gorgeous OLED touch screen. So the screen itself seems like a nice upgrade here. That's always been one of those things that seems relatively small on previous gimbals, but they've just improved it again with a nice OLED touch screen. Just makes it a lot easier to navigate between the different modes and and just gives you a visual representation without having to connect it up to an app. The build quality on the RS4 is remarkable. It has been now for such a long time from DJI, but I just love how well it's constructed, right? Like everything from all the little mechanics to release things, the little switches and buttons, the way that you release the motors, like everything just feels premium here, which you would expect from a gimbal that's priced at this point. But everything from even just, you know, this little wheel on the back here to adjust whatever it is that you want to adjust, whether that's the focus point or whether that's something else. You've got a trigger that feels really nice. Like I said, the screen here is nice, nice and responsive, bright with that OLED display. Got a bunch of toggles that you can use and all sorts of accessories that you can add on here. So a great offering with a bunch of versatility and you're definitely future-proofing yourself getting the latest gimbal like this. If you've been in the market for a while wanting to get something, you've been kind of curious about what would it look like to get myself a higher end gimbal, it's a great time to get into the RS4, right? Because it is the latest and greatest for content creators, for people who are just kind of starting out in the industry, or you maybe have like a lighter camera that's you know does the job for you but you just want something to stabilize it really great stuff here lots of different options and it's relatively easy to set up right like that's one of the things that's always been a little bit of a challenge for I guess myself like I've got used to it a little bit when I've been testing gimbals but it's just finding that balance point right you need to balance each point so you need to release each axis balance it release the next one balance it just takes a little bit of getting used to but I do find that the smoothness of everything here is nice right you've got this little like toggle 
option here to tighten and loosen the plate and just to slide it back and forth. Bunch of options there. You can obviously just get it into the position you want and mark it even if you want to mark it on the indicators here. And then the fact that when you turn it off, it just locks into its position like this. And then when you power it on, it opens up ready to go. That's great for the type of scenario that Eamon was in, where he was going from property shoot to property shoot. If you're in the car, for example, and you're going to a new location, instead of having to take the camera off every single time, you just power it down, hold on to the system. It's all locked in place. It's not going to wiggle around, power it back on, and it's just going to get straight into the same point that it was for the previous shoot. So you don't have to worry about balancing it, adjusting it, doing whatever, which is really nice. I feel like Eamon gave us a really good insight into how the gimbal operated in his workflow. Like I said at the beginning, this is something he does for work. So he's using a gimbal all the time, every single day. And for him to be impressed by the build quality and the functionality of the RS4 is clearly saying something here. We didn't test everything thoroughly but for his workflow right for that real estate side of things which a lot of people out there or people watching this could be in the real estate space something like this that's going to be able to hold up to three kilograms reliably got a bunch of different features great stabilization the option to just quickly swap to vertical so you can get that social content for whoever it is you're working with super easy stuff this is a really nice point to enter into the gimbal space with the RS4 and I think the RS4 Pro is just way too pro for a lot of people now it's kind of out of a lot of people's leagues. It's definitely like more of a film grade gimbal setup where well, the RS4 is a nice point for a lot of people, I think. A lot of people who are like budding filmmakers, people who are in the real estate space, working with clients, doing content creation, like it's ideal for those sorts of scenarios. Impressive stuff with a bunch of extra things that we haven't even dived into in this video here. But the fact that we overloaded the system, it wasn't even balanced fully when we powered it on, but the footage still looks really stable. Everything turned out beautifully and Eamon seemed quite impressed with it. So thank you so much to Eamon from Creative Philosophy. Go and show him some love over on his YouTube channel. I appreciate everyone for watching and I'll chat to you in the next one. Peace.